Now, the only private hospital in far north Queensland will close its maternity unit, leaving hundreds of mothers in limbo. Mum and patient of Cairns Private Hospital, Kayla Kingsley, joins us now in Chiligo. Alongside midwife Narelle Ashworth in Cairns. Good morning to you both. Um, this is really unsettling and distressing for a lot of mums and expectant mums across far north Queensland. Kayla, you came on the show back in May when we first heard rumours this might be happening. How stressful is it for expectant mothers to have the rug pulled out from them? Yeah, hi Sylvia. It's, it's so incredibly stressful and absolutely disgusting. And for it to be happening so soon, what is it, the 1st of November? Like, how could they be just pulling this out from so many expecting mothers that's put so much thought and planning, uh, trust, and don't forget the money involved um, that's involved with um, having this pregnancy and, uh, and, and, and birth. So it's, it's really disgusting. And we're always talking about women's rights and um, mm. women's choice and empowering women. Um, but now the women of Far North Queensland have lost their voice and lost their power to make that decision. Well, I, you know, I know from personal experience how daunting, especially your first birth can be, and you put so much thought and energy and emotion into that birth plan going into how you deliver your first child. Um, to have that all pulled out from you at the 11th hour must be incredibly distressing. For you as well, you need ongoing care um, in the private hospital after birth. So what are you going to do now? Um, yeah, it, it's... We really don't know what the next step is. We just, I guess, we really got to put it onto the public hospital now and just hope that they take this on board and maybe extend, expand their unit and allow the private obstetricians to continue um, their services there mm. and provide the same services that the private hospital did. Um, I don't know, it was just incredibly important for us to have that week-long stay after the birth of um, both of my pregnancies. Uh, you know, we live remote. I'm six hours away from Cairns in the middle of the bush. Mm. Um, I can't exactly just pick up my baby and go home. Um, yeah, so it's really important to have that that care by the um, by the hospital, the important staff at the hospital, and the private obstetrician that you've worked with for so long and that know you and and know what you need in your care. It's it's it. it's just such a vital service, and I just really can't believe that it's it's gone it's going. It's yeah. just the people who have you know the people who who are responsible for the decision just they should be absolutely ashamed of themselves it's disgusting well you know that's it it's all about continuity of care especially if you're heading into a high risk birth and you've been following that entire plan with the same obstetrician all the way along to then have to pivot to people you don't know who i'm sure are wonderful carers but they're just not your people and they don't know your history let's bring you in narell now what does this mean for the healthcare system in cairns can the public hospital cope with all these extra patients I think we're really lucky in Cairns actually because we have had some notice of the review since May as you earlier mentioned and um, we have had some time to help prepare our women and support them through this change and our doctors have been working really closely with the public hospital in Cairns and having regular meetings to try to facilitate a private model of birthing at the Cairns public hospital. Nothing's finalised yet but we need to continue to work towards a positive outcome and Again, we're lucky other regions don't have the support of the public hospital to help them uh, facilitate the births. Um, our public hospital, again, has been aware that this has been under review and I believe they've also been trying to recruit extra staff to help uh, with the additional load that they will now have. So um, our main aim is really just to support and reassure the women that Cairns does have a comprehensive birthing service and that the women will have a safe birth. Um, and we really just hope that they do gain that continuity, as you earlier mentioned, and that the private obstetricians will be able to deliver them at the public hospital. Women want a safe birth. It is as simple as that. Um, Narelle and Kayla, we appreciate your time. I can feel how upsetting it is for you, Kayla, and I'm sure you're not alone in that too. Thank you both for your time this morning. Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?